good day good morning to you all so this video is the official video for my strawberry cow cosplay so a lot of this video is going to be a bunch of montages and that's because environmentally there'll be um, noises I work in the garage space so I have more space to do my projects so it will be mainly montage um, I did start of course because this is very timely with two other projects going on I did already start some things and if you guys want in-depth videos on the sidelines later in the future I will gladly remake any of these two items that I've already started so we're just gonna jump right into it before I go out and I start showing you the dress in my process tonight so I already started the headband as you can see I already have the ears done these this part in particular with the strawberries are bought um, I will be listing everything that I've bought for supply but here's the ears it has been a while I cannot talk right right now those are the ears and I'm hoping to be able to add to it because this is not done this is just part of the headband add a plate and a fake milk carton on top with the plate and some strawberries that I want to crochet and then I made this big guy. This big guy took about uh, two weeks roughly. Get a close up. Eek, eek, excuse you. But here's a close up. And then the back. Got a strawberry patch. That cow itself I would have to like make you guys a pattern if I ever were to remake it on camera and show you all. So those are the only two things that I've gotten done so far. Um, we will be moving into the garage soon to show you the dress and what I'm going to try to do tonight. Alrighty you guys, so I have a 3D printer going on right here. So there's going to be some background noises. If there's any talking segments, there's probably going to be background. So, just saying. Shared spaces. So, I had gotten this. This came in uh, last week. Alright, then we have the dress. And then under the dress so far, we have the first petty. And it's super cute with the stars. Tonight, I'm hoping to airbrush. And we're going... These are just very rough cutouts. Oops, excuse me. These are rough cutouts, but these are going to be like strawberry bodies. So, these are very rough, but I'll touch them up when we actually do the other overpaint spray uh air spray machine got all my utensils and we're gonna set up very soon to start doing uh strawberries all over the dress and i'm gonna attempt at doing some dress shading to make it a little less pink because i i do adore it being pink and white and all that but i wanted to bring out some reds as well because this is also for like a February type deal as well for Valentine's. So I'm kind of mixing the two.
Alrighty everyone, it is a little past 11. I started this around 7.38ish. My feet are so swollen I can't even feel them right now. I have a bit of a medical issue going on that I'm taking care of um, as best I can. So, it's time to call it a night, but I'll show you what I did so far after starting the strawberries. So we're just going to set you guys down here. Alright. So... I did all the strawberries all the way around. This is about the front of the dress. And then I decided to add this green trimming that I might fade up a bit. Because I wanted to give this dress a little bit of uh, depth. It feels a little too flat for me. It's hard to turn this. But you can see the strawberries are started and they're all the way around the entire um, bottom of the dress. And then this is kind of drying right now. It's quick dry paint, but I'm just going to leave this here for the night. So there's that. And this will also be all the way around the entire dress. And it'll look like that for now. Um, I'm not sure if I want to fade it up. I kind of wanted to, again, to give more depth. And I wanted to try to shade under these ruffles or something of that manner or shade up. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with these just yet when it comes to color wise, but at least this trimming will be green. I still have things to think about, but um, I think it's time to call it a night. I kind of started this on a sick day anyway, so good progress. Good start. I'll check in with you guys next time. Afternoon, everyone. Here's the next check-in. Oh, I'm still wearing this. Wow. Okay. So I got some things in the mail for my costume. Um, it, it's looking so much better than what I envisioned and kind of like put together. So I'll show you in a second. So, as you can see, we have an apron now. And it was very confusing to put on, but it's, it's literally exactly what I needed. And then I put back the bows. It's not fastened to the dress, or the apron is not fastened to itself together. So there are buttons and adjustments to it. But they're far too big for what I need them for. I've had issues before of making my own aprons with that. And then I put the other bows down here back on. As you can see, none of the strawberries are finished. And this green trim line isn't finished just yet. And I believe I'm still going to fade it up. I'm not entirely sure just yet. But that's a start. So we will get back to uh, dress constructing. I believe later this week a little bit. It is, um, just about to be Christmas week, so I won't really be, um, able to touch any of my cosplays in general for a while, but that's just the update that I wanted to show you guys. So yeah, I will check in with you guys next time I pick up the project. Hey guys, it is Christmas Day, actually, on our next check-in, and I just wanted to give you a little update what I might work on and hopefully I can document while I work because it is still the holiday so it might be a little bit of an interruption here and there working again since I am ahead of schedule of, of a lot of things I thought I was gonna be rushing it or stressed out but I managed to get things done sooner so we're back at working on the dress so we left off on the strawberries being done and outlined. I did that off camera because that was very tedious. And now we have these all sketched out. I did what I wanted to do for the petal designs. I was originally going to paint them, but then I came up with the idea, maybe we should do something like felt and it'd look really pretty. So with these, I gotta make 70 of them, but I gotta split colors because I don't have enough space. So these are gonna be the two colors. They're gonna be coordinating with that. And then before they even get on the dress, though, I have to put at least one little sparkle on there. So none of this is going to make it to the dress tonight, but at least it'll be laid out and um, prepared to be glued onto the dress bit by bit. Because the glue I got is supposedly a really nice fabric and other material glue. It's called Liquid Fusion. So I had gotten this. It's, this is new to me. Um little bit more professional than hot glue. So the only, only other thing I might get tonight, uh, I'm not sure yet, is to glue this bad squishy boy onto this fake plate. And that's it so far for the plate step. Um, it's not really a plate, it's a lid. We are 
after the plate fiasco we are working on that and then i might glue on the hearts that i need for the bows tonight as well i did show you guys in the last clip these but i, I wanted to show them again they're really pretty like these are gorgeous look how much they sparkle i and these are just costume jewelry sew on hearts but they're supposed to um be like the fancy jewels that you get so I'm, I'm super excited about these. They are so sparkly. Same with these. These are also very sparkly. So that's what I'm doing tonight. We're going to ground out some of that. And yeah, we'll move on to the next step once all of this little tedious work is done. Also, just an input. If you guys are curious as to my angles and how I set things up, I literally have to sit a certain way to be able to work anymore because of my issue going on with my legs. So I'm over here constantly having my legs up this is even a, this isn't even like as high as they need to be when I work so that's that's what's going on recently um, just an input there so you guys aren't wondering too much it's got to be required or else my feet are extremely swollen and there's a lot of pain and a lot of issues I have with walking just sitting in certain positions that I'm not supposed to anymore so yeah there's there's the FYI <laughs> working on oh yeah hand is stained still working on <coughs> the dress part I moved on from jeweling all those leaves to starting some jewels on the bows and now I am spray airbrushing the apron so I guess I'll just give you a little montage of the last sleeve because I already zoned out and did this one but I'm also going to be jeweling this as well I don't know if I'll get that get to that tonight um depends on how long it takes because i will be working on this tomorrow due to my schedule being kind of open early before next week which is the initial week i was supposed to be working on this stuff so i am a little ahead um very tedious work though it it, it takes it takes forever for each little step i make and it's very nerve-wracking because i have no idea with this full look is going to look like and I still have like the dress itself to paint so, like I have this to move up on this has to be faded up I have all the little pieces right here that need to be glued on individually I think I'm still going to do shading on the pinks and or the white parts I'm not sure yet but like it's a lot and then after that I have to jewel everything add jewels to everything and I have the headpiece to finish so yeah it's a lot of little things I have to put on to it but it's going great um and I'm having fun with it so yeah <laughs>
Hey guys, this is our next check-in. Um, it's after New Year's. Uh, we had some COVID sneak into the household. It was work-related, so we just all have to wear these bad boys in the common sharing area in the house. Only one person got it so far, and it should be the lesser variant, but it's upsetting. <laughs> Because, like, obviously, no matter what the variant is, it's very worrying. So I claimed the garage for myself this week. I already had it scheduled out for this week to work on my dress. So we're going to get into it. But if you see me wearing this, it's probably because I'm going back and forth helping the one person who got it. And also isolating myself in here. So yeah, we're going to show you what I got so far. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, just in case you were wondering, like, why the hell are you wearing a mask in your own house? But anywho, um... This is what we got so far for the apron. Um, just a lot of grunt work. We will be recording some of it. Um, can I use flash? Yeah. It's very pretty though. I am so excited. Look at that. Oh my god. Ugh. And then up here, we've been going um, back and forth between gluing these on. I missed one earlier, so I gotta do that one. But gluing these on, and every like hour or so, I move the dress and I glue them. I have not been feeling feeling very well. Um, that's medical health reasons, not COVID. So <laughs> everybody's just getting beat up by everything. So yeah, um, that's what that's about. And we will be basically just recording this process back and forth, back and forth. I brought my ring light to kind of help with better lighting. Um, I, I do grunt work a lot, so I'm not used to recording it. I'm usually just used to being hunched over like a gremlin in my, in my, my auto zone. So, working on it. It's a progress. This whole new video is a progress on how I want to better my filming and my projects.
Okay, update on the tail, update on everything. This is my last week, last few days working on the um, cow cosplay, as you all know. But um, I wanted to complain about the yarn. So I got an off brand. I usually get Burnett or Burnett, whatever you want to pronounce it. That's what I use for all of my stuff, or I get something similar to that or better quality of that. Well, couldn't find it, didn't have time to order it, didn't have time to go hunt down Joann's. So I got an off brand from Walmart and let me tell you, it snapped on me 10 times. 10 times crocheting this freaking tail. On the inside, it has all the strings in there. I don't know if I can even show you. There, yeah, 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 you can see it, like literally. Let me see if I can focus on it. Okay, so you see inside there, there's one string. Well, there's more away in the back, if you can see it, like right there, back there. 10 times it snapped. It, 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 I am usually delicate with my yarn. I had to be extra slow paced with this and more delicate with it because it just kept snapping. I'll show you how, how weak it is. 
my usual yarn does not do this. Where's the end? Hold on. Let me show you. I'm probably not going to use this at all. Watch. Okay? Just a light pull. Snap. The lightest standard pull. Snap. And ugh, the fuzz isn't even fuzz. Like, sometimes with my actual yarn, if it does snap or I need to break it, um, it'll have it'll actually be like fuzz puffs. It's not. It's strings. It's just strings. <laughs> I'm very frustrated, but it's done. I got to add the little um, fur tail. And then after that, I got to sew this close when it's stuffed. And I don't know if I'm going to do a safety pin or a ribbon or whatever to attach to the dress, but that's basically what this tail is all about. And it's super simple. And I still was a little wonky right about here because it kept snapping on me but it was okay frustrating though because i could have gotten this done yesterday but it just kept breaking on me um side note side note another side note i couldn't find a valentine cow and the people that i was in a line with were scalpers unfortunately and were like literally making kids cry the only kids that were there there's only two um, but anyways, I accidentally put a, uh, imposter squishmallow on my, on my, uh, wish list. And when my friend saw that I wasn't, uh, happy about what happened at the shop and everything, um, they got me this before I could double check to make sure it was an actual squishmallow. So that upset me that they, I mean, it wasn't expensive, but like still upsets me that they kind of technically wasted their money trying to help. So I made the situation better, and I pierced his, its ears, his ears. Okay, so now they have piercings. The nose sparkles, and these should actually be good by now to take off. And I added more heart gems to the horns. So in my photo shoots, this cowl will now be a part of it, and I still love it and still appreciate it very much regardless of it being an imposter that I mistakenly put on my list. Um, but yeah, cool. Now my cow's cooler than everybody else's. Not really, but you know. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys as well since they're gonna be a part of the set regardless, so yeah. Okay, quit update. Oh, it just fell off. Okay, so now the cow tail is stuffed and it's way more even than I thought it was. So it's stuffed. Um, I might have a bow for it. It's a clip-on hair bow. Gotta sew it still. And I did, I did have this wrapped around, but I have the fur, fur ready for the end of the tail that'll match my actual cow. So yeah, with it, it looks like this. Very cute. That's what I'm doing. I have no idea if I'm doing pink patches. The, um, like I said, the yarn is crappy, so I have no idea if I'm gonna do pink cow patches on them um so this is the actual cow tail i didn't know what i was doing so it's a little misshapen as you can see the bump because i didn't really count my stitches i just went for it because i was tired and that was a big mistake but i learned my lesson i made a nicer one but i don't know if i'm doing these i have no idea if i'm going to be able to do those but at least it'll be matching a little bit and then I have my ears, all by themselves, and yeah. Now this is about the end of the video. Um, as you can see, headpiece is fully done. I will get full b-rolls of everything so you guys can see the full outfit. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up next. I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed my craftiness this time. I really want to start sharing more often my projects, my bigger ones and my smaller ones and answering more questions about how I do things, where I get things, and helping with any techniques I can. 
Um, but until then, I shall see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun sharing this with you all. And I can't wait to see what brings to the future. Bye, guys.